What is over indexing where we talk about multi split air conditioning? In this quick two minute video, hopefully, I answer all your questions. What is over indexing? As an example, let's say you've got a 5.5 kilowatt multi split condenser which has three ports. That allows us to connect three internal air conditioning units. They could be wall mounts, ducted, floor mount, or cassettes. What indexing means on the internal side of things is let's keep it simple. You've got an indoor living room with a 3.5 kilowatt unit and two bedrooms at two kilowatt. That adds up to 7.5 kilowatts. What we can do is connect that to your 5.5 kilowatt outdoor unit. What is all often asked to us is, why is the indoor unit over indexed to the outdoor unit? Right, well this is where the efficiency and practicality and the effectiveness of the multi-split air conditioning unit comes into play. Predominantly in the UK, we go to bed at night and we don't sleep downstairs. You're thinking, what, what does he mean by this? What? A bit odd. Right, if we've got a three and a half kilowatt unit working downstairs during the day and having one of the bedrooms, perhaps a study bedroom being used, the 5.5 outdoor unit is being used efficiently. In the evening, you turn the downstairs unit off, waste of capacity of the unit, and now you're using the second bedroom, which is a two kilowatt unit. So you've now got four kilowatt indoor units being run from the 5.5 kilowatt multi air conditioning unit. That is why we over index. Is there a negative to over indexing? So if you were to use the living room unit at full capacity, two bedroom units at full capacity, yes, the outdoor unit would struggle. How significant? Well, I'd probably say a three and a half kilowatt become a two, two and a half, and then the internal units upstairs would become a 1.5 to two, well, to two kilowatts. But what can happen is as temperatures come down in the room and the duty isn't required, the outdoor unit does keep up with the capacity. The only time we would say, let's upgrade the outdoor unit to a seven kilowatt outdoor unit is when the requirement of the client says, I want the living room to maintain a good temperature and both bedrooms at the same time. And it's only at that instance we would not choose over-indexing. Over-indexing allows us to be very flexible, where you have some big conservatories with high heat gains or some really smaller bedrooms where you don't actually need a lot of duty. What it allows us to do is predominantly, as an accurate measure, to go to 150% of the outdoor unit capacity. On the market, the biggest outdoor unit we can achieve is a 12 kilowatt by two brands. That'll allow us to go to a comfortable 16, 17 kilowatts and allow the whole house to be covered by a single condenser. At the moment, under planning regula regulations and permitted development, a single outdoor unit is really what we're trying to achieve. The costs, right. The most expensive part of most air conditioning quotations, including ours, is the outdoor unit. So what I like to say is if we can keep it as cheap as possible, why not? The cost predominantly across the board from a 5.5 kilowatt to a 7.5 kilowatt is around £350. Would you ever get the energy savings from £350 if you were to upgrade over five years? Probably not. Secondly, to go from a 7 to a 12, you're looking at five, six hundred pounds So when we do look at over indexing, it sometimes saves you on, you know, flexibility the cost, and it just makes sense. If, however, you do have a solid desire to have consistent temperatures in all rooms throughout the house, over-indexing isn't for you. To summarise, over-indexing can be really effective in keeping costs down. It allows us to be flexible, to have one outdoor unit in most cases, and it allows more internal units off that single outdoor unit. If you need any more information on over-indexing and why we do it, please leave a comment below or just get in touch. Thank you.